Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken and we're playing Impossible Iron Man difficulty with the Hardcore mod enabled. Hardest difficulty, one save and uh, no failure allowed. So today we're going to continue the campaign. I needed to stop, unfortunately, the, the last time uh, that uh, we were recording. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to upgrade uh, our free field team. Unfortunately, that did not work because I realized in the last patch they must have fixed it in my test run. I was definitely up, um, able to upgrade um, an, uh, level 3 team without, uh, without any problems. Uh, so that means we're losing a bit uh, of our uh, intel. Because instead of 120, this field team is only worth 80, but it's still fine. We're going to put it into Angler's Point, our uh, next location where we're going to do a mission. And we are purchasing 480, our last field uh, team. So we got another task force here. Uh, that is has finally uh, given us the ability of uh, to strike a major crime task force. So I'm going to test um, the strategy that I uh, read about, uh, mainly due to showing uh, how leveling these uh, characters could work. I'm not completely opposed uh, to it. It sounded um, it sounded logical, so uh, might as well give it a try. I'm not, like I said, I'm not uh, huge into stalling. Um, it is simply not necessary because the game is relatively easy, uh, but uh, might as well uh, optimize it a bit more. Good. So, uh, first things first, we definitely would want to go uh, into this district to prevent any further improvements uh, in unrest. We'll get some supplies out of it. <clears throat> I still don't need the scavenger market because we're investing our intel to upgrade all of these uh, police stations, so all of the uh, fire teams. Let's send the APC over here. We do not have any idle um, operative. And now our unrest in the fringe has finally risen to five. Uh, luckily for us, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this mission prevents a real unrest from happening. There isn't any city anarchy yet. And we got a couple of interesting missions that we could deal with. Um, this here being probably even more interesting because it allows us to reduce the uh, current unrest a bit further. So let's take a look at it first. That would get, uh, give us intel plus uh, unrest reduction. I'm all up for it. This here would give us a targeting system, which is a nice weapon mod, don't get me wrong. But the unrest control, I really like that. So instead of getting three unrest here, how about we're freezing the unrest? And instead doing this mission, two plus a reduction of two is four potential unrest reduction. And I really like that idea. We're unfortunately shy in Intel. So that's not going to work out. Um, elsewise, I would have upgraded this station here to the next level. We're going to use Vigilance uh, next time in the Fringe, uh, just to um, to manage our city anarchy a bit better. And uh, we're ready for today's mission. But before we do that, let's take a look. Um, we actually have finally completed the training. So we could uh, assign Cherub uh, again for training. Uh, he, as well as anyone else in our team, has the potential for this next uh, for his next training step. I don't think it's necessary uh, yet. Uh, so what I want to do instead is, since Shelter hasn't done basic conditioning and is often being targeted first, might want to give him the, the ability to also uh, get basic training. And we're taking our main team so the dream team um, onto uh, the missions. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Shelter's equipment real quick. I would always uh, recommend you uh, to do that. He got a nice um, armor item, which we certainly don't want him to take into his training. 
So let's empty him up. We got enough credits, but I would like to save a few more credits because in only two more days we're going to get an armor upgrade and I want to buy that for everyone right away. Looking into the mission, we got a very difficult mission ahead of us with only one um, uh, round of breaching. That easy, sounds easy enough. We're going to give the armor upgrade to our healer because she definitely needs to heal. Giving her the breaching charge as well. You know what? Let's not give her the breaching charge. Let's give that to cheer up. Good. And in terms of items, I think we are looking uh, very well. Got two enhanced pistols, uh, thanks to a clever selection of characters. We got two weapon upgrades already going. And the submachine guns and uh, assault rifles are good the way they are. So that looks like a very decent team. Well, let's hit the road, guys. Good, we only got one encounter. And we either surprise everyone or we take an extra action point. I think we're going to take the extra action point, as interesting as the surprise is. I much rather take the extra action point. All right. In. And by the way, thanks to Phalanx, which is Shirob, one of Shirob's best abilities. I don't care about either of these guys. Um, yep, the resonant, we can use Phalanx, but let's take a look first. Arclight, definitely a good target. Hitman, not a bad target either. Bruiser, mm. and yeah, we. I don't want to uh, take down the res um, the resonance, so we're just going to put Phalanx down. It's just a single encounter, right? We're starting with the Arcolite. There we go, Arcolite is down. And I would almost say we're um, continuing to mess with the Hitman. The Resonant is a good target as well. But boy oh boy do I like to kill the Hitman. Because they dish out a lot of damage. Well, looks like a lot of enemies. Clear the courtyard, capture or kill the war criminals. Well, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, besides, this is our first extra uh, turn. Um, let us start with one of the best abilities, the good old Null Lands. <laughs> Killed one. Enter too severely. Yeah, we're getting blue blood up here. And afterwards. I would say let's just deal some AoE damage. Let me try again. Hitman is down. Trooper is okay. almost down. I'm surprised that this guy actually only has a 28% chance of being hit. I don't get that. But whatever, we're sticking with the enemies that we can hit, and we can hit that brood very well. This here is, by the way, full cover, believe it or not. It's half cover and then half cover from his abilities. Alright, I optimized the frame rate a bit more. Um, 
Yeah, easy enough. So let's kill the bruiser. Or might affect anyone else. Well, that's unfortunate. Might as well take out the bruiser with our Psy abilities. Didn't fully take him out. So he gets a single shot, but he can't move. All right, and the cool part is we can hit up Virch again. Virch on the other side has two creatures in his direct um, network, which he can simply finish. The kinetic shield would have saved terminal in case she would need uh, need to be saved. But I think at this point we got it pretty much under control. Yep, everyone's down, and that was almost a flawless mission. Boy, oh boy, our prime team is just killing it. So I don't know. I mean. Uh, the, the point uh, that I was trying to make earlier, yes, you could now, of course, upgrade the weapons, um, but the majority of um, of these in the mission comes actually from the correct decision-making uh, which you are taking. Good. City Anarchy has risen by one. Uh, that was foreseeable. Hey, buddy. Read my mind lately? You know I would never do that. How would you know? I know. Unless you we can now use the city task force, reducing our anarchy by one. We're then reducing the actual unrest, which means we're stopping uh, further city anarchy. So it's uh, relatively straightforward. We're stalling out the mission. Um. All right, one more round for assembly. We almost uh, are ready. And we got a passive round ahead of us. Either some Intel or some Elerium. I'm not sure if we will have enough credits uh, for the armor upgrades, but I think we're going for the Elerium again because 35 Elerium is better than the Intel. Not even a question. So might as well take that one here. Progeny is developing new tech that augments their psionic domination. We can't allow this. Undermine their research and end their experiments. Okay, cool. So, first of all, Shelter has uh, completed his training, which isn't bad. Second of all, we finally got our training, uh, our assembly completed, so we now got our Mastercrafted armor. A couple of things that we can uh, think about is, for instance, going for improved submachine guns. Uh, that definitely would work. I mean, we got the options for that. Could go for expert field teams, which isn't too uh, too bad, so we can actually upgrade to level 3. Mastercrafted armor is way too early. Um, uh, so are the other Mastercrafted stuff. You can see it even uh, supervised, it would take a lot of uh, time. And instead, let's enhance our um, submachine guns as well as uh, the assault rifles afterwards. So that's a solid a solid buff.
and our armor upgrade indeed would be 200. I remember it was quite pricey. So we got to get some more, um, some more supplies. Let's see what's available. Could get another mission here. For essentially unrest reduction and delirium. So that's not bad. Can't upgrade it uh, yet. That would cost too much or short on intel. But if we could upgrade it, it would give us extra credits when doing the mission. And that's really the beauty when you're when you're grinding intel at the uh, at the very beginning. I'm thinking whether we might want to unassign him. And essentially instead go for a spec ops mission. So he's too low of a rank in order to do the recruitment um, drive. Hmm, that is lamentable because the free field team would have been helpful. On the other hand, 60 intel, yeah, that's not even an upgrade anymore for three days. The upgrades are 90 intel now, um, so five days would almost be worth it. Yeah, but mathematically the legwork is still more efficient, so gotta go for one more round of legwork. Yes, it slows down our assembly, but life's hard. Uh, sometimes you <laughs> don't get a choice. Uh, you, I would rather upgrade um, the city further. I don't feel that our weapon damage is lacking too much. If anything, we need more survivability, so the armor would be nice. And that's pretty much about it. Um, as for training, that's a different story. Because there are a couple of really good options. For instance, unlocking potential on Blue Blood uh, for uh, 15 extra crit chance. We do have Cheer Up. Uh, mobility 2 is awesome. That would give him a lot more utility. An extra utility slot for Terminal is good. So that's a uh, medkit uh, on top of uh, the grenade. And Verge with Dodge, like all of the abilities are actually quite good. Might as well start with uh, his Dodge training. He'll be out for three rounds and Shelter will be subbing in for him in the meantime. Just out of curiosity, we do have only submachine guns, right? Yeah, so that team could actually benefit a lot more from the assembly. Uh, you hate to see it, but probably the submachine guns are at the moment a better breakpoint. So let's stick with the assembly. I can still upgrade uh, the city a bit later and we'll get intel either way, don't worry. Uh, by capturing uh, enemies, we will get enough intel. But that brings us to the end of uh, today's mission. It was a super fast one, only 20 um, minutes. We we crushed it, guys. So um, apologies for, uh, for crushing the enemies uh, too hard. Uh, we are going to return in our next episode with uh, the uh, mission at Switchyard, which is hopefully uh, going to be a bit more um, a bit more difficult. Uh, for now, I say thank you, and if you like the content, have different opinions on any of the topics that I mentioned, uh, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.